All right. Well, welcome, Christine. Thank you for joining me. So, Christine, you are married. Yes, I am. Correct. Mm -hmm. um, you and your husband are both in the lifestyle together. Yes. How long have you guys been together? We met in 1992. Okay. And we were married in 2007. So oh, wow. we've been together 30 years. And how long have you guys been in the lifestyle together? Uh, probably about eight years. We've been dabbling a little more often in it in the last couple, trying yeah. new things, house parties, different locations. Mm -hmm. Nice. So what is it that drew you guys to the lifestyle? Actually, it was something my husband wanted to try. Okay. I was a little shy about it at first, a little uncomfortable. But yeah. We always discuss things ahead of time of what we were looking for that evening, whatever adventure we were going right. to. Um, and we'd go with clear rules of what we wanted, what we didn't want. And then usually after whatever happened, whatever experience we went through that night, we would discuss it when we got home to make okay. sure we were both good with it. So was it a hard thing for him to bring up to you to tell you that he was interested in having a different experience outside of the monogamous relationship that you guys have? No, I don't think so. No. I think I had the harder time at first. Like with the, was it, was it more so of like insecurities of anything, of like feeling like maybe you weren't enough for, at for first, him? At first, that's what it was. I wasn't okay. sure if why he would want additional experiences okay. if we were together. Was right. I not enough? Yeah. Was I not pleasant to look at? Was I not sexy enough for him? But once we started trying things, um, we both liked it. Okay, and are you bisexual? No. Okay, so I've you guys tried. do a full-on swing more of switching of partners compared to bringing a woman into your relationship. True, yeah. 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 We've tried, it's what I call a girlfriend experience. I've tried playing with women. Okay. I will play from the waist up, but it's not usually my thing. Okay, but yeah, I'm I, with you on that. Yeah, I find women beautiful to look at, but I'm yeah. just not comfortable touching them everywhere. Okay. I feel I wouldn't be doing it right. You know what? It's so funny that because I have heard from so many women and I have girlfriends who will play together. They're um, predominantly are with male partners and mm -hmm. that's always what they've done. But they will every now and then hook up. And I have a girlfriend who's just like, well, girls should just like girls know better. Girls know how to touch that. And I'm like, I, I don't know how to eat a pussy. I've never done know. it. And the times I have done it, I've just been doing it for shits and googles for show. Not because I've been actually trying to get a woman off. Yeah. And so I'm like, no, no, I don't feel like that's something I should just automatically know. And I don't want to. Right. Yeah. Right. Right. I mean, for me, I can, I can touch another woman's breasts. I can suck mm -hmm. on them and I can kiss another woman. That doesn't pro give me a problem. Yeah but I've tried going down a couple of times and I just, I can't do it. Okay, so is it something that even while you're doing it, you just recognize that you're not into it? Or is it more of the fear of you're not doing it well? At that point, it's, a, it's I don't like doing it. Okay, I'm with you on that. Mm -hmm. And I am absolutely, and it's funny, it took me a long time to figure that out. And it was something the last year that I really all of a sudden was like, and I mean, so I'm just gonna be very like transparent here. So recently within like the last couple years, it was something like I, my body, I was able to, to squirt, right? And something I've never been able to do before. And then I thought that I was like, I do not want another woman's bodily fluids on my face. And so I was like, that in itself is why I do not want to go down on a woman. I don't want somebody else's sticky egg whitey stuff all over. And it's just this whole thing. And I'm like, and I can say that now and I'm okay with it. So you know what? I'm not bisexual. I'm not even going to pretend that I am. So I had tried, oh, I don't know, maybe a month or so ago with a woman. I tried going down yeah. and I started to gag and I had to, I had to excuse myself. I said, I can't do this. I've tried. I just can't do it. It's not for me. Okay. I love that. And like, the fact that you were able to actually vocalize that instead yeah. of putting yourself in a position of doing something that mm -hmm. you weren't comfortable with. Mm -hmm. um, so I have another question and maybe personal, if you don't want to answer, you don't have to. Okay. So I've often wondered, so, and again, this is something that came up in conversation. So you and your partner obviously will switch and you'll explore other, you know, men and women together in mm -hmm. an evening. Have you guys ever attended I guess the house parties in a sense or orgies in a sense where it is multiple people kind of partaking and switching and sharing throughout the night. Uh, this past April, we had gone to a hot wives of Phoenix house okay. party. So yeah, there were a, a lot of guys there for the women and okay. 
you know, there were a lot of things going on in various rooms. Um, I was with two men that night. Mm -hmm. um, my husband was present in the room for the first one. And then I did my own thing separately for the second one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And is that something that, so me and my girlfriend had this conversation. I made a comment about the fact that guys double dip. And she's like, well, what does that mean? And I was like, well, a guy's had sex with more than one woman in an evening. Mm -hmm. And I was like, and she's like, okay, well, I've never done that. I was like, well, okay, I have. And we talked about that. Yeah. And then it was weird because, like, the conversation kind of was just, like, it felt almost kind of, like, judgy. Where I was like, she was almost judgy. She's like, I would never in a million years. And then afterwards, I was like, hold on a minute. People in the lifestyle, that's a very normal thing for them. In mm -hmm. an evening, if they are playing with other couples... Or partaking in these things, you will be with more than sometimes one, two, or three men in an evening. And I was mm -hmm. like, I guarantee that's not even something that crosses your guys' minds. It's like, oh my God, I've been with more than one person tonight. I can't even like accept that. And oh yeah. my God, how shameful. So obviously that's not something that's a consideration. It's just kind of the norm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, you know, one of my rules is when we play with others, I don't do mouth kissing. Okay. So to me that eliminates... I don't want a, a little bit of stress for me, so yeah. I'm not sharing anything that I shouldn't be. And the men always have to have a condom, so I'm not sharing anything from somebody else. Yes. So I look at it that, that if, if I get the opportunity to play with two, three, four different men who have already been playing with others. Yes. Like in that group room, you, there was one night there was like about 15 of us on that bed. Yeah. And people were just going back and forth around whoever was next. Okay. And I didn't stop to think, well, he was just with her. I don't want to be with him. It yeah. didn't even cross my mind. And that's because it's safe sex. Yes. And there's a condom. Yes. And so there is a barrier. Mm -hmm. And I mean, I'm not going to lie, but I've said this a million times. And I think as if you use a condom, it just doesn't count. The number doesn't count. It's not a number on your check sheet, your whatever people who count. I'm like, there's a barrier. I can safely say if I slept with four men at night and I used a condom, they didn't really count at the end of the day, right? So that's my justification around being, you know, okay, a little bit. Okay. Yeah, but like you said, you don't even question it because there is protection, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. That's just my rules, my two rules. Yeah. And you know, some people have a hard, some of the guys have had a hard time because they're like, well, I don't wear a condom. Well, that might be okay for you and your partner, but it's not okay for me and my partner. Right. So I usually carry a bag with me with condoms in them. Smart. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for sharing. Sure. And I'm glad you were able to come on here with me today. Yeah, and certainly. And do, you know, um, for anybody who was maybe thinking of getting into the lifestyle and they're not comfortable, what would you say is the number one thing that you guys really had to learn as a couple to be able to do it together that you guys overcame? Hmm. I think for us, the, the hardest thing in the beginning was always having open communication, mm -hmm. you know, knowing what we wanted ahead of time. Um, if things looked kind of awkward during it, like what was going on that shouldn't have, mm -hmm. and then we'll go home and discuss it, you know. We'll just get naked on the bed, lights are off, and just talk about things first right. to see, okay, did you like this? Oh, I liked watching this, but I was uncomfortable with that. Well, this really turned me on, but this not so much. Okay. I mean, my hardest thing is... I have two collars I wear. I have a hot wife and a slave collar. Mm -hmm. When I wear a hot wife, I'm in charge of the evening. And I'll let my husband know, okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be with this man. You can watch, you can participate, or you can stay out here and wait for my details later. Okay. So that's one of them. But with that, you know, I always wonder and worry, is he judging me for the person I chose? Does he compare that person, that man I chose, to what he looks like? Ah. So in my mind, I always worry about, well, what if I choose that man over yeah. there? And John's not happy with that. Okay. So, so you don't necessarily get have to get his approval right. beforehand. You can decide who you want to be with. Mm -hmm. You can have your evening, and then you just communicate about it afterwards. Mm -hmm. I always tell him ahead of time what I'm going to do. Yes. I see that man over there. I'm going to see if he's interested. We're going to go into this room. Okay. So I let him know ahead of time. Okay. That way he knows where I am at all times. Right. But, yeah, I always wonder if he judges the who I chose. And, and have you asked him? A couple of times. And does he? No. Okay. But it's just one of those things I always do. I could see that. And yeah. so have you ever judged him for the women he's chose? Unfortunately, it doesn't work the same. He has very few opportunities. Women never approach him. Really? Yeah, it's always the men that approach me. Okay, so is there a reason behind that? I don't know. Okay. I've noticed that a lot of times, even at some of the house parties. Yeah. Um, there were a couple of other clubs we would check out here. Yeah. 
And it was the same thing. They would flock to me, but the women would not flock to him. So you play most more evenings than he gets mm -hmm. to. Yes. So it's not one of those things where if you don't play together, you don't get to play at all. Right. Okay. So mm -hmm. what does the slave one mean then? That means that he's in charge of my evening. So if he sees a couple that I would need to, he's like, yeah. see that new couple over there? I want you to talk to them. See that couple over there? I want you to offer your services to them. He will okay. loan me out if they're interested. So it's like a sub kind of, Yeah, I like that. And yeah. I like that you guys have signals and that you guys have those things in place going into an evening so you know what you guys are expecting. Exactly. It's the communication. Yes. Right? That, oh, that's big for us. Yeah. Yeah. There were some tears in the beginning, but yeah, we worked it Her all. Her feelings and, kind of tears. Yeah. And, mm -hmm. yeah I can yeah. see that for sure. Mm -hmm. I think it would bring up a lot of different insecurities that we maybe didn't even realize that we had. Right. 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 But the fact that you guys can communicate it, I do find that a lot of couples say that it kind of really has strengthened their relationships. I think so. I yeah. think so. Mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely. Awesome. Well, thank you so much. Certainly. Thank yeah, you. Thank you. I enjoyed this. I did too. Thank you. Thank you.